This is the solution to written homework 24. Okay, so then fill out this table. Okay, so the discriminant here, remember the discriminant formula is that the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. So for this quadratic, that would be 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 10. So that would be 9 minus negative 40, which is 49. That's the discriminant. That means that the number of real solutions is 2. And because 49 is a perfect square, it has a, has a rational square root, uh, that means that the solutions are rational. This would be 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10, positive 10 on this one. So that would be uh, 4 minus 40, so that would be negative 36. That means that the number of real solutions is 0, and all of the solutions must be complex. And this is b squared, so 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 21. Okay, so that's um, <coughs> That's 16, and then that'll be plus, because of that negative 21. So 16 plus 84. So 16 plus 84 is 100. <coughs> and in this case, we'll have two real solutions. And because 100 has a square root, uh, they'll both be rational. Okay, so now use the quadratic formula to factor the following quadratic. Okay. So we'll use the quadratic formula with a is 3, b is negative 5, and c is negative 6. So the solutions are uh, negative negative 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 5 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 6. All of this divided by 2 times 3. <coughs> so carrying out that arithmetic, that would be 5 plus or minus square root of, well, that'd be 25, and then plus 4 times 3 is 12, times 6 is 72, and then this divided by 6, so x is uh, 5 plus or minus <coughs> the square root of 97 over 6. So many students don't like it when the solutions end up looking like that, but these are perfectly legitimate numbers. Uh, so the two different solutions are, one of them is 5 minus the square root of 97 divided by 6. The other is uh, x is 5 plus the square root of 97 over 6. And then that means that the factorization of 3x squared minus 5x minus 6 is, well, one of the factors, one of the factors must be x minus that one. 
so x minus the first 0, so x minus 5 minus the square root of 97 over 6. And the other factor must be x minus the other 0. Five plus square root ninety-seven over six, like so. So that's because uh, here's a zero. The fact that this is a zero means that x minus that is a factor, and here's another zero. And the fact that it's a zero means that x minus that must also be a factor. <clears throat> and now finally, this is almost right, almost right, except one thing is missing. If you were to multiply this out as it is currently written, then you'd have this x times that x, and there'd be one x squared. But here we need three. So to finish the answer, this 3 goes here. If this had been a 10, a 10 would go there, a negative 8, a negative 8 would go there, a banana, a banana would go there. 